good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. We are still continuing to learn all about ocean animals, my friends. Today, we're going to learn all about the, here it comes, bum, 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 the starfish. Let's get started on this book. I'm so excited to learn all about the starfish. After this, we have a writing prompt on what our favorite ocean animal is. So turn your thinking caps on and turn your listening ears on. And we are going to read about the starfish. While we're while Miss Cunningham's reading this, I want you to think about what your favorite ocean animal is. Okay. Look, a starfish by Tessa Kennan. He's the author. What all about starfish? Starfish arms. Starfish are ocean animals. There are hundreds of kinds. Look at that starfish. So pretty. Starfish look like stars. Most have five arms. They have spiny or sharp skin. Looks like a little prickly, huh? Some starfish have more arms. A sun starfish can have 40. Whoa, look at that starfish. So most starfish have five arms, but this can have upwards of 40 arms. Look at that starfish. That's crazy. Tube feet can help starfish move. Can you say that? Tube feet. Good job. The tubes are like little suction cups. Starfish use their feet to crawl along the ocean floor. How do you think tubes help starfish move? They're like little suction cups, huh? Bigger animals try to eat starfish. They may tear off an arm, but the starfish will grow a new one. They can regenerate their own arms, my friends. How cool is that? Starfish are many sizes and colors. This starfish is bright red. The color scares away bigger animals. Why might bigger animals be afraid of bright colors? Hmm, that's a really good question. Starfish aren't the only animals that have bright colors. There are some types of snakes or spiders that also have bright colors. And some animals that have bright colors could be considered poisonous, right? Starfish have tiny eyes. Each arm has an eye. The eye is on the tip. Why do you think starfish eyes are on the arms? A good question. A starfish can open a shell. It pushes its stomach inside. It eats the animal in the shell. Then the starfish pulls its stomach back into its body. Whoa, look at this picture, friends. The starfish is eating that shell. They gotta eat too, right? Starfish lay eggs. Baby starfish float in the water. They will be adults in two years. So it takes them two years to become adults. Here are the different parts of a starfish. Let's see if we can move this closer here. It says these are the eyes on the tips of the arms. Then it says, here's the mouth right in the center of the starfish is its mouth. And then here's his arms. He has five of them. And then these things all around are called his tube feet that help him get around the ocean floor. So those are the parts of a starfish. And then this says, picture glossary. It talks about all the different vocabulary or the special words that we learn throughout this story. 
says eggs, small round objects that have babies inside. Then it says shell, a hard case that covers an animal. Spiny, sharp and pointy, like we said earlier. And then these are the tube feet, small body parts that help a starfish move. The end. So I hope you enjoyed that story, my Junior K buddies. Here's what we're going to do now. You have two things to work on for today. Our first thing we're working on is our ocean animal writing prompt. Miss Cunningham did her model and I'd like to show what my favorite ocean animal is. So I wrote my name at the very bottom, put Miss Cunningham. Then I said, my favorite ocean animal is a seahorse. Here's my picture of my seahorse. A lot of seahorses can be orange and I added some plants so that you can hide from predators. I love seahorses because they have such special adaptations to help them survive in the ocean. Did you know that the seahorse is an expert at camouflage? It can change the color of its body to hide from predators, which is very, very cool. Did you also know that the seahorse has very, very good eyesight and can move each of its eyeballs individually? That means that one of its eyes could be looking forward and the other eye could be looking behind him. How crazy is that? And the other fun fact about seahorses is that the mom seahorse lays the eggs into the dad seahorse's pouch. And the dad seahorse actually carries around the eggs until they hatch and protects them. So those are some fun facts about seahorses and why they're my favorite ocean animal. My Junior K buddies, your job today is I would like you to complete this writing prompt and tell me what your favorite ocean animal is. After that, I'd like you to take a picture or a video of you with your writing prompt. And you could even say one fact about your favorite animal in the ocean. There's so many cool animals that live in the ocean, my friends. So here's my writing prompt. That's your homework today. Here's the other thing we're working on. We usually do some type of math activity. So here's what we have today. It says seahorse number order. The directions say cut and paste the numbers in the correct order and color the pictures. So I'm going to attach a number line to help you put this in number order, okay? It doesn't look like there's any zero here, but there is a one. So you could start with one and then it looks like it goes all the way up to 10. <gasps> Let's count together. Are we ready? We'll start with zero, even though there's no zero here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! So you can use the number line I've attached to help you, and you're just going to put it in number order. So number one would be this one, would be the start. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So my friends, all you have to do for this worksheet is write your name at the top, cut out each of your numbers on the bottom here, lay them out in front of you, and then you can glue them on in each of the boxes in number order from one to ten. That's all that we have for today, my buddies. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday and you're able to get outside. It looks like a beautiful day outside today. I miss you all. Have a great day, guys.